My influential educator is the person that inspired me to pursue history and education as my future career choices. They also inspired me through their actions. They inspired me to go with life with a positive attitude and never dwell on the negatives and to always work with a positive attitude. They also inspire others around them as they were leaders of many different group functions at the middle school, including NJHS and the fishing club they have. He also leads academic events too, including the Geographic Bee that they held there every year. I had the honor of working with this man through last year as his cadet teacher, and he taught me many things of how to be a good teacher someday. My influential educator is Tim Skimmerhorn. It's somewhat ironic that I've elected Mr. Anders as my influential educator because while I'm going into biology, he's the only biology teacher I never had. But he did introduce me to a newfound love of chemistry. He was also one of the most understanding teachers I've ever had, slowing way down where even one of us in the class didn't understand the subject or speeding up when he knew that we could handle it. I would also like to thank him for not getting mad at me when I accidentally burn a hole in my lab coat. He also made sure never to make his lessons boring, always making sure to crack a couple of cheesy jokes or set something on fire to entertain us, or even show us a video clip from one of the movies that he liked whenever it pertained to the lesson. And even though I'm leaving the school now, I know that the lessons Mr. Anders taught me will stick with me throughout my collegiate career. My influential educator is Mrs. Klaus. I first got to know her because I was friends with her daughters. What makes her so special and influential is the effort she takes. She would ask me how my day was or if she could get me any snacks. When she was in charge of dinner for theater, she would make sure I would get a meal even if I couldn't eat what all the other kids were eating. These may seem like really small things, but it's the thought that really matters to me especially during really difficult times throughout high school. I admire her charitable soul and the dedication she has towards her family. She goes above and beyond what a normal person would do. She has greatly influenced my outlook in life and helped me through really tough times. Not every elementary principal will keep up with you or even remember your name as you reach your graduation date. Well, come to think of it, they might want to see how far you go off the deep end based on disciplinary issues. Huh. Either way, this man has taught me so many things about being a leader and a neighbor. I even consider him to be one of the main reasons I pursue running so avidly. Even this past year, he would run with my team and his stories, especially about our teachers, are quite intriguing. Not only the school, but the whole community would not be the same without him, even if he graduated from Prairie Heights. So thank you, Mr. Shepard. Our community is blessed by your giving personality and your commitment to us Noble students. The person that I chose for my influential educator is Mrs. Stackhouse. I first had Mrs. Stackhouse at the beginning of my junior year, and for me, English was not a fun subject but I knew from then on that I was going to have a lot of fun in her class. This year, I spent a majority of my days in there. Whether it be her class, UT, or homeroom, I was always in there. We would just hang out, talk, but also get things done. I learned a lot from her, not only about English, but also life. I know that I can go to her to talk about anything and she will help me. And this is why I've chosen her as my influential educator. I was know we have many teachers who are impacting many students. One teacher who has impacted me the most is Mrs. Hicks. She is generous and a kind-hearted person. I admire the way she is patient with all of her students. She is a teacher who has the kind of drive of willing to help others. She is welcoming and will say hi to you whenever she sees you. Mrs. Hicks is the kind of teacher who will show you how much you value and I am very grateful for that. I chose Bill Lucas as my influential educator. 
Bill has been a West Noble volleyball coach for the past four years, starting during my freshman year. Immediately, we had a connection because he helped me adjust to playing high school volleyball. He saw me as an untrained, goofy freshman setter and has transformed me into what I am today. Still goofy, though. Um, he just, I can go to him with anything, and I know that I can trust him with anything, whether it's just venting or something that happened during my day. He's the one that I'll go to to talk to it about. He has been like my family just because of how much we connect with each other. If I see him at a club tourney, I will run up and I will hug him. No second guessing it. I am forever grateful for having this chance to work with him throughout these past four years. And I will never forget the mark he's left on me. That's why I chose him as my influential educator. Hey, so the person I chose is Mrs. Blosser. She was my fourth grade teacher, but she's so much more than that to me. She's one of my biggest role models, and she has helped me decide that I want to major in elementary education just like her. She's a family and a best friend all in one. She's always there for me, always there listening and giving the best advice. She's always there supporting me through school and sports. I honestly don't know what I would do without her. Thanks for changing, impacting, and helping my life in more ways than I can count. Miss you. My influential educator is Mr. Yance. I chose Mr. Yance to be my influential educator because he has always been a positive influence in my life. He has been a teacher, a coach, and a mentor to me. I met Mr. Yance when I was a freshman in high school taking his biology class, and he later became my golf coach my junior year of high school. When I would stress over school and life and sports, he would always calm me down and help me look at the positives Mr. Yance would also help me during the tougher times in life. When the golf team lost one of our teammates and our school lost a teacher, he helped me accept the losses and move forward knowing that I had their memories with me. When I later became injured my senior year of golf, he helped me feel as if I was still a contributing member to the golf team and like I was still a part of the team. And for these reasons, it is why Mr. Yance has become a father figure to me and a lifelong mentor. This is why he is my influential educator. I want to express my gratitude to Mrs. Botkamp as my influential educator, and I hope she understands that when I say thank you, I don't do it without profound personal meaning. I've always enjoyed attending Mrs. Botkamp's classes because she seems more like a friend to me than just a teacher. She's always been a very fun, relatable, generous individual and she taught me to embrace the writing process and become more confident in my writing abilities. <laughs> Furthermore, she encouraged me to take Mrs. Stackhouse's courses, which I believe was one of the most significant, crucial growth aspects in my student career. I want to honor Mrs. Botkamp for the simple, kind things she has done for me, because if I could use one word to describe how she's been to me, it would be generous. Mrs. Botkamp has always been willing to provide me with assistance, not only for writing, but other things. In fact, I want to thank her for the scholarship recommendations she has provided me, because through her aid, I've gained significant monetary assistance through my college and the Community Foundation. I am very grateful for Mrs. Botkamp, and I want to tell her, thank you for caring about your students. I thought I would have all the time in the world to say thank you to Mrs. Blotkamp. And until I can do so in person, I'll say it this way. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I consider Mr. Pawlicki to be an influential educator in my life because of his commitment to providing opportunities for his students. When I joined band as a freshman in high school, I only thought that music would be one little thing. But Mr. Palicki has shown me that music can be a true passion. Even when our band has failed to play well, sound good, or work together. Because Mr. Palicki has not given up on us, we've learned that music can be an absolute joy for us and for so many others. And besides this, because, because of Mr. Palicki's confidence in me and my music abilities, I am proud to 
pursue a career in music. I am very grateful that he has believed in me and that he's cared about my future. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Sheely and for my Influential Educator Award I chose Mr. Schlemmer. There's a multitude of reasons why I chose him, but to put it simply, he was an amazing man. He was an amazing man, he was an amazing teacher, he was an amazing coach, but most importantly, he was an amazing friend. He was one of those people that you could go up and talk to and he would just listen, but he didn't listen just for the sake of listening, no. He listened to understand you, to get to know you, to understand how he could help you. And to me, that is such an admirable trait that I think we should include in our own lives. So thank you to the Schlummer family for letting him give up so much time for us students and runners. It was a pleasure to know him and I'm sure that you guys miss him and we miss him very much as well. And so in my own life, I've been forever changed by his impact. And I'm sure many others out there feel the same way. So thank you. I was always asked the question, is it hard having your dad as a teacher? For me, becoming a teacher's kid was part of my personality, much in the way it fit into your personality being a head football coach. You taught me to shoulder expectations of those around you and go beyond what's expected. I grew up in a way that taught high school and football as the second language. In kindergarten, I remember you picking me up from my half days during your lunch break and bringing me to your history class, where I spent the rest of the day flipping through the same slides that I would be taking notes on 12 years later. I grew up drawing plays for your football teams, and 10 years later, ended my final game calling plays with the same exact love and energy. Some parts of growing up around the school carry extra weight. Everyone knows your name, from those who are always looking out for you to those who can get you in trouble. We have had fun moments at all times of our relationship through school. We've won championships together, celebrated my acceptance into your alma mater, Purdue, and generally enjoyed every moment life has given us together. Older students and even teachers I've had have commented on the legendary difficulty of Mr. Mayhorter's essays. The U.S. history course is the stuff of legends, and I long awaited this challenging class as a rite of passage among, its bright, among the brightest in West Humble history. Living with your U.S. history teacher and two former students provides a unique experience. Day by day, I would put off the essays until I could hear him laughing on his way to bed as I frantically typed everything I knew about the Louisiana Purchase. I'm proud to say I failed the stock market game and plunged you up into war on the World War I simulation. However, I saved the Pullman Strikers as a decorated lawyer. These infamous class simulations are a prideful moment to your prideful monument to your teaching because you always said kids remember those moments for life. And given the amount of long grocery store conversations reminiscing with your former students, I couldn't agree more. I nominate Mr. Mayhorter, Coach Mayhorter, and or dad as my influential educator. My influential educator is Mr. Foreman. It is almost daunting to go into his classroom because he is so intelligent but he somehow manages to create a fun and stress-free environment just by the way he teaches. Not only is Mr. Foreman an incredible teacher, but he's also very passionate about helping others succeed. I had the privilege to experience this firsthand as after my first trimester of my junior year, I was involved in a automobile accident that allowed me to have to do things online or find other ways to complete my schoolwork. I had two options with calculus, which was the class I was taking during that time, and I had just completed the first trimester of my calculus course, which was taught by Mr. Foreman. I could either, option one, retake the whole course the following year, or option two, try to manage to complete the rest of the course before the end of my junior year. So obviously, I chose the latter, and Mr. Foreman was very supportive during this time, and he even drove all the way to my house in Goshen, which is about 40 minutes from West Noble, just to give me one-on-one -on -one instruction and one-on-one -on -one help with calculus. And I know for certain that I wouldn't have been able to succeed and finish calculus the way I did without his help. So from me and all the other students at West Noble, I truly appreciate Mr. Foreman. And I thank him for all he does for West Noble High School students. Thanks, Mr. Foreman. My influential educator is my sixth grade teacher and cross country coach, Coach Emmert. Coach Emmert changed how I looked at life. 
He taught me to question how things worked and to look outside the box. He taught the team how to challenge ourselves and push ourselves to solve any problem or through anything. To always be true to ourselves and to do everything to the best of our ability, no matter what. These lessons not only helped the team go to state three years in a row and to create a bondship between us as brothers, but it also helped me to ready myself for the United States Marine Corps. And to him, I just have to say thank you, Coach Emmert. Your influence really inspired me and changed how I became who I am today. And I hope someday I'll be able to come back and coach alongside you maybe one day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kaylee Williamson and my influential educator is Mrs. McAdams. I met her my freshman year at West Noble and I did the Charger Reading Challenge. I came in about halfway through the challenge and so I was a little behind everybody else, but she was really sweet and nice in helping me understand how the challenge worked and how to get all the points I needed. And since then, she's just been a really positive person to be around in the high school, especially my junior year when things were really stressful for me and my classes were kind of loaded. I knew I could go into the library and check out a book or maybe ask about a recommendation that she had or any books that she might have just gotten in. And I knew that she would just be a really positive person to be around. And that's really helped me get through high school knowing that there was someone in the building that had a passion like I did with reading and books and that she was just someone that was always gonna be sweet and nice about anything.